up in you with science. Uh, excuse me, that's Dr. Cody. I oh, just spent I'm sorry. 50 bucks on the internet for my PhD for nothing. Uh, let me start by saying the next time you want a goldfish at the state fair, take very good care of it. That's because goldfish can make their own alcohol. <laughs> yeah, of course it tastes fishy. Uh, yes, you can get rid of that moonshine still in your garage, people, and invest in goldfish instead. Researchers with scientific reports have discovered these small creatures sometimes have to live in iced over waters for long periods of time. So when that happens, they're deprived of oxygen. They have to be able to switch to anaerobic respiration, causing a level of lactic acid in their bodies to build up. To deal with this, they convert it into ethanol. Researchers have even managed to pinpoint how goldfish do this. They actually produce an enzyme that's found in brewer's yeast. Hmm. Yes, drink it like a fish has a whole new meaning, people. <laughs> Get it? Drink it like a fish. Human. Slap of science. They may be able to power cars with goldfish. How about that? Have like a couple bowls and you're going with the ethanol? Hey, if you were like me, you were taught as a child that spitting was a bad form of manners. Well, not anymore. <clears throat> Uh, researchers at Binghamton University have created a battery that's activated by spit and thus could lead to cleaner sources of energy. The battery is paper powered and powered by bacteria using microbial viral fuel cells combined with freeze dried exoelectrogugonic cells. I don't even know what that word is. <laughs> yes, I said electrogugonic cells. For those who don't know who electrogugonic cells are, they're microorganisms that transfer electrons outside of their cells. Within minutes of adding spit, these cells generate power. Oh, by the way, these batteries can be shaped in different ways, like folded sheets or even ninja stars. Man, you been slapped by science? <laughs> Electrogugulaguga. Finally, have you ever heard the phrase, it's so easy a monkey could do it? Well, how about a chimp? In a new study, the journal uh, Primates, which I get to my house every month, scientists find that champ, uh, chimpanzees are capable of learning the rules to rock, paper, scissors. Researchers used a computer program to teach the chimps the rules of the game, and by the end of their training, they were playing the game at a skill level of a four year old human. That's pretty impressive. What's more impressive is the fact that you've been slapped by science. What are those cells? Just one more time. Electro goo 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 goo. So official, Dr. Cody. They also uh, they taught the chimps how to do this: rock, paper, scissors, and weather. <laughs> it's that easy. All right, there you go. Can be back to you. Well, it's been a